Namaste everyone. All of us have dreams and aspirations. Some of us want to have a, a very strong career and be based in our home homeland. Whereas some of us want to pursue this abroad. Always the distant pastures look greener for us. So we always have aspirations. Oh, I want to go to the US. Oh, I want to settle in Europe. I want to be in Singapore. You know, especially for Indians, they are very, very aspirational. Many of them have these dreams and goals. They feel they can do a lot more. Uh, better if they are abroad and they can lead a more luxurious life, make their dreams come true and maybe fulfill their commitments in India, the financial commitments I mean. So, uh, so different people have different thought patterns and yeah, nothing is right or wrong, it's all our calling that we have. But even to make this work for us, uh, there are certain planetary combinations or certain grahas in particular who are very very instrumental in making you go abroad. So one is the Rahu, very important. If you have to go to distant lands away from your place of birth, to a foreign country specifically, uh, then Rahu is very, very instrumental in that. Then you have your 8th house lord as per Lagna. Whoever is your 8th house lord, even uh, the positioning and placement of the 8th house lord is very important. Now along with Rahu, if uh, there is a connection between uh, Rahu and Guru, you really earn a lot of money abroad. Otherwise there are people who go abroad and still end up struggling there. And uh, if the combination is Rahu and Buddha, then people go on business tours like short travels, but business travels, go for conferences, go to purchase machinery, go to uh, crack deals with foreign countries, uh, I mean companies and all of that. But if Rahu and Shukra are together, they actually get to enjoy some luxury, maybe they go on leisure travel and all that. So there are different different combinations of planets uh, you know in the chart whether they're positioned together or they're being aspected by each other or they're in a particular house which really makes a difference as to how uh, you can go abroad and where all you can go you know that is very important otherwise the visas will have rejections and you feel dejected and your your dreams you know you're, you're really halfway through to get your dreams I mean to chase your dreams. That is there. And then second thing is Chandra and Mangal are also very, very important. Bhumi Karaka is Mangal. And Chandra is basically instrumental in, you know, helping you cross the seas. You know, those times we would say any foreign country is like crossing the seas and going and uh, coming back. So, yeah, these planets are all very, very key in terms of making you achieve your dreams. Now, um, I spoke about Chandra, I spoke about Rahu, I spoke about Mangal. I you know some people even, uh, you know, if the Mangal is strong and connected to Rahu and the placement in certain houses in your chart is favorable, then they even go on construction uh, business and construction work, they go abroad. Then, um, you know, basically it's like uh, so many things, so many combinations and you should know why you have to go there. Some people go to study and then they settle down. Some people go and study and then they don't get a job and they come back. So you don't want to spend a lot of money in your education abroad and come back to India and work, right? Because you spend in dollars or euros and, uh, you know, those currencies which va whose value is higher and you come back and earn in INR then... It's, it's a real, like, you know, you'll need a long time to break even. So, before you even plan your career that way or your education, you need to consult a good astrologer who can tell you what are your strengths, what are your weaknesses, what are the opportunities you can bank on and, um, you know, what is it that you need to avoid. And when is a good time to do that? Are the transits favorable for you? Because transits are very crucial. When the when the Guru is 8th, uh, there are certain transits which are very favorable to go abroad. Although they are a negative transit otherwise. But it, they will help you uh, if you go abroad. So you should make use of those transits in those ways. Uh, so it may not be good in certain things, but it will be very good for something else. We always say, you know, one man's food is another man's poison. That, that's how it is. If a transit has a negative impact for certain things, it will still give you a positive impact for something else. So you need to bank on that. So apart from the planets who are responsible for uh, you taking you away from your place of birth or abroad, there is another thing that is considered which is like uh, are the planets in the Vayu Tattvarashi or Agni Tattvarashi or water here sign. We need to see all of that to even figure out okay what is the prospect for you to go abroad. So if they are in the Vayu Tattvarashis, then the prospects are very high. 
so like that so there are certain things which are very astrologically technical but they help us and they guide us as to okay they are the pointers we should consider before making a decision and if the outcome is that it's not a wise decision to go it's better not to go because then if you go there also you're not that you're going to improve in any way and you know you'll end up coming back after a few years of struggle so that is the reason why it's good to get your um, chart astrologically read once to know what is your prospect so do consult an astrologer try to find out where you stand try to see which countries suit you uh, is it the australia is it singapore is it malaysia is it us or uk what is it or the rest of europe uh, any of the countries there so you need to figure it out yourself okay so some people get settled down in kenya south africa tanzania so it's their calling you know uh, you even if you try in some other countries they will only prosper if they go in that direction so you need to find out what that is instead of experimenting with money or time or effort so without much uh, you know wasting much of your time do consult me if you want to know about your prospects of settling down abroad or career or education whatever is your calling do do reach out to me all the best mm -hmm.